Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up, it's the Neighborhood swap -arama. Drop on by, shop and swap, exchange and change. This swap -arama shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Bush. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're gonna tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Wow. They look like laser specks, like in The Dog from Outer Space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the Royal Chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken. Yeah! Chicken! Cool. If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh-uh-uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs Roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Phooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We've got to find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. <coughs> uh, uh, oh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. <coughs> Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Me first! Shoot! There are no roast chickens in the yard! Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs, but give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see Sam? Hmm. Yeah? Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! Hmm. Anybody want some? It's me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. No, it's a catastrophe. What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them fleas. <laughs> Vladimir. I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. No, oh, no! I can't go back to the forest. Wash, do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Vet, come quick!
look a bit pale, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specks. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specks do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specks! <laughs> Super villains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. Uh. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buds I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild boar! <laughs> the youth of today, they have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm, I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's gonna see us, Wash! He's gonna see us! Not if we're faster than he is! <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! Uh, it's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm 
Faster than soup. That's <laughs> enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume. Oh no! I'm sorry, sweetie pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> 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 Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Sam. Hmm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys. Good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Catnip! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff! <laughs> Give me that right now, you disgusting warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Mm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a... Oh, I love this series. 
say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! <laughs> what kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them for yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move! I'll go look! It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore! Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah! How would you know that? <laughs> okay. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor, who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Un. Believable! And do you have any idea where he is? Mm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy! Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside! Take your time! <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar! Sam, mind coming over here for a sec? In just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. That's <laughs> killing me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. So we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From <laughs> where? The forest? You're wild? <laughs> no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! <sighs> All right, I'll help you. <laughs> Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the suicide. Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right 
right back. Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Camel Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha! A cinch! That, Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I'm gonna go see the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! The ah! way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? We really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. Yeah. is back. Hey. Hurry up, he's super heavy! Sam, look in the mirror! Here I am, girls! <laughs> well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah? boar. We've gotta be fast, girls! Mr. Livingstone is coming! Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild Bun Express is ready to go! All aboard! Yeah! Yeah! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup. Uh huh? What? But what's happening here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah? Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need Space Alicious and Arikins to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. <laughs> Arikins? Space Alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. <laughs> they need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. 
Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. <laughs> oh, no! You remember the last time we went to the forest? And there's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too! Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! Go home where it's nice and warm. Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How are... about we stay the whole <sighs> weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eye. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's gotten into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no resisting. It's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch! Uh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> oh! In the forest, there are beasts! Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my 
friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home. Yay! Listen, the engine's already running. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Where are the living stones? That one in the engine. It's Vic snoring. Vic, Vic, Vic snoring. Ah! Oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you. No, well, that's just it. We thought they were at the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts <laughs> and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where is that dumb car gone? We're, we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones! Quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Living Stone. And we'll never get to go home again. Look at him. This is one cute bear. So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom. I was so afraid. Oh, Teddy, what a lovely, fluffy teddy bear. What? Look who's here. They found us. Well done, guys. Come and say hello to our new friend. He's adorable. Hi, yeah, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> no, Wash, come back. Don't abandon us. <laughs> Okay, Vic. I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? Uh, I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast! This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friends. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he's not such a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. The car! Well done, Wash. Good dog. Honey, wait. Mm -hmm. Safety first. Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're, we're through with stre stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess, you found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time I swear I'll have my payback. Mm, those pine cones are quite good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, well, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow. Just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey! That looks like Alvarez! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> Just to let you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. Yeah. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. Uh. No, no, stones! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick, Wash! They're here! Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're, We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm going to go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not going to last long at this. Okay, 
Time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's a lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster. <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once. Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am. came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, <laughs> Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me, and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, brother! Quick, behind the golden can! <laughs> we gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him! That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey? That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. But how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. ah! Ah! Oh, my little fox hunter. I am so proud of you. There he is! Mm -hmm. 
Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap. Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here, and majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! <laughs> My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> Whoa! Silly! What do we do with their own costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. Uh-oh. Oh, 
can do this. <laughs> no, no radish. Oh, uh, we're looking for our costume, Sam. <laughs> it's in you, but you're not in here. What? Gee. Who would want to steal our costumes? Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second! Yes, bad, it's not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the... That's us! <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried chicken? Yeah. Me? Me? Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Easy! <laughs> they might have got bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! <laughs> There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> <laughs> we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're gunners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no, no way are we gonna let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of. Yeah, we're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon. Hey guys, I think these bozos didn't quite Catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Seriously, think we're gonna let you choose channels? Not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons! They stole our costumes! You've got to help us! Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, 
you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. <coughs> hey, guys. You hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. And what's more, the living stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the bath robot enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? to make. I love you. Duh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. Nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the hmm. beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, well, he's probably wild too. And dangerous. <gasps> Realize they were nothing but a bunch of wild animals. They're goddamn. You, yes, but me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun. <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? 
I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with a pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown out again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <laughs> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! <laughs> Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> <gasps> Too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle. <sighs> Nothing left to munch on. And your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Hmm? Then there's only one solution. I think the time has come, Sam. I can't. He's my friend. All the good times we had together. What? You ate your friend the acorn? Not even. At the last split second, an enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep. Survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. And it's a go! Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. That's not how it happened. <sighs> you, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that. Yeah, well, okay, mm -hmm. I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape, That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey, everything okay, Vic? <laughs> we may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Phew. Hey! <laughs> In here! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Oh, over here. Mm -hmm. Thanks. My name is Susie. I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. <laughs> 
other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Hmm? Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow, that funny looking animal lives peacefully with humans? I'll go ask him. Come on, Vic Honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Susie, you okay? Well, yeah, but I wasn't able to do anything. The metal monster caught me before I could talk to the bunny beaver. Who are these blockheads? Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> Yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Whoa! Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T. And the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital. My favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Vic, we're going home! Wait a sec! Take us with you! We want the same life! <laughs> That's the best one yet! It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're gonna try our luck! really should repair this road. I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, Rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> ah, thirsty. Smoothie time! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. Yeah. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hey guys, 
No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape, the two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? Nope! Can't see any reason to panic! How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah, back then we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven! Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic! And then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun! Smell that? I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. But what in the? <laughs> so, Vic, feeling a little bit less lonely, a little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Wash, mm -hmm. come check it out. There's tons more to eat. You. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are going to... Uh, sorry, Victoria. Do you want to play with us? <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. What's this? He's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd leave. So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But, but your word is worthless then. You're nothing but a bunch of savages. Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get lost your fur! Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. Duh! Ah! Ah! Wild animals! Ah! Hello? Hello? Ah! Is this the Animal Pound? There are four of them, with bangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> it's just like back in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> can you believe it? He didn't even know it was a costume! <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cub! Psst. Don't be so discreet! Go for it! 
what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look, there's tons of them in that cave over there. Let's grab some. You see, Wash? You may have seen the fox cub first, but I was the one who found the costume. Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double. The cave is packed with humans. Look, over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. Awesome! <gasps> nah, we can do better. that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Living Stones. You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Purry. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say, Say what? what? I never told you this, but... Meow. Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look. Even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? Hmm. You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. Oh. <laughs> 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 Boy, am I ever stuffing. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that. Dinner is served. <laughs> The police! Hey! Huh? Ah! Our costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. 
What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst! Susie! An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. <laughs> oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! <laughs> You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. It's <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline courage deep inside you, little wild boar? <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend! But that's way too dangerous! The Living Stones will surely find out! The last few times it was already risky enough! Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap! Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks. Mm -hmm. It'll never work. Mm -mm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. Mm -hmm. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, 
That was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV? That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this are only the right thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is and will remain at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha ha! What ha ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. No oh boy, oh boy. I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, no. I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam. Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. Same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that five, Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitchell never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> All is lost. Mitch is going to take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm going to spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? You, Jeannie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Well, it's also Mitch's middle name because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. 
it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch <laughs> my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! Ah! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way! I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! They didn't find anything! What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear, your fear is the, the day, day that Mitch, Mitch shall, no shall no longer be a danger, danger to you. you. And if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Whoa, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set! Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks 
back, you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washing cat! Washing cat! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> you, sweetie pie! Yes! Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble, it's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't! It isn't funny! But it isn't Wash! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. <laughs> it's weird! It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him! It's because it isn't Wash, Sam! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah. Oh yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on, Wash wearing. No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch. <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. What? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, mm -hmm. Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Oh. What about 
my costume. Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait, what if Washington is sick? Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No! No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them! <clears throat> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. Where is it? Don't panic, it happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking, there must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess, I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? <laughs> Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course. It must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. Shoot, an acorn with 
with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. Party time! Whoa, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? You're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday! I completely forgot! Don't you realize? No, yeah. Not those two imbeciles again! I absolutely have to go see her! Huh? She'll be so disappointed! I only want to give her a big hug! Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry! I refuse to let you go alone! I'm your best- You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest! Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us! Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever you're... Behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> what are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, uh, we came looking for, uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, Sam. Huh? The quicker we find catnip, the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. <laughs> Don't we know each other? Hmm? Of course. I remember you now. I'd recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I'd recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> You? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later. What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well... Wait, action! Wild animals! There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild. Ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Quick, we gotta hide! What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on! We're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace! Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there! Ah! Where are your manners, young man? Is that how 
Are you welcome, town folk, round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo. Aw, washeroo, as in Washington. A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad, his name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? So, little washeroo, still happy with life in town? Well. There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, know what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <sighs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. Mwah. You see? Poof, you got it wrong. Wash had a date with a girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait uh -huh. just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs> you went to the Livingstones' house? Uh-huh, and we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. With <laughs> town folk us? But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But... It isn't even catnip. Come on. Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention your two Joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for <laughs> good ideas?